Luke and Lewis on 101.9 The Fox. Luke and Lewis on the Fox. Welcome to the show, guys. Luke, we've got a big one coming up, don't we? It is uh, the day where we are giving away five physical copies, a limited edition run of our No Track album, Lewis. Yes. It's huge. I mean, the music industry is probably scared, mm-hmm. just quaking in their little boots yeah, full well, of tracks. This is, a, this is a trend that we've just started, man. After we do this, everyone's going to be releasing No Track albums. And just know that Luke and Lewis started it here at first. Yeah, you heard it here. Well, you didn't hear it here first, actually. Yeah. But, you heard uh, us talk about it, and then it came out, and you yeah. didn't hear any tracks, because yeah. there were none. Luke and Lewis on the Fox. Amy Shark says hi. Luke, it's time to talk about our social media guy, Todd. Tripod Todd. He knows his way around the tripod. He does. Uh, that's how he, he was <laughs> deemed the nickname. Well, yeah, that's the thing. You know your way around a tripod. You're great mm-hmm. at camera work, and we have Thank no you. problem with that. But you're, another component of your job, and I would say the main component, is social media. You do our uh, Facebook page, Instagram, yep. just if you Zero. ever see a video or a Zero, post, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the Can't future of social it. media. Um, get on it. <laughs> but um, you, I would say you're in charge of all that, yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and how so. how how much of a handle do you reckon you have over our handles? Uh, pretty good. The social think, media yeah. lingo there? I think I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah pretty certain of because that. Because yesterday you asked me before the show, hey, how do I do an Instagram poll? <laughs> well, yeah. Th- yeah. That, that I don't know how to... <laughs> hey, Todd. Yeah. Um, what where's uh what's our Instagram like name like on Instagram? <laughs> uh, Luke and Lewis. Right. What about our Twitter? I have no idea. Yeah, mm. You haven't. Do we have a Twitter? Yet. Do we have a Twitter? Do you have a Twitter? Mm. Oh well, isn't that uh, is that a, is Twitter a social media website? Yes. And are you a are you the social media guy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I don't know. Where is our Twitter? <laughs> where really you should be asking. That's us. a great question. <laughs> um, we've, uh, what, what we thought we would do, Todd, is, uh, maybe, maybe it is a bit our fault. Maybe we thought we should, we should train you up a little well, bit. Well, the point we're trying to make is... It's funny that you mention that, because I'm actually going to be, uh, entering into an Instagram course, uh, to study Instagram, such as, uh, the app Anatomy, um, the- and identifying key influences. <laughs> <laughs> so you've acknowledged that you're bad at social media. Yeah. Uh, well, Have, are you paying money to do that? Yeah. Great, that's good. You well, so, well, hey, it. if you do Instagram, now you've only got Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. That's oh, fine. Vero. I can do advanced diplomas on all of them, so that's fine. <laughs> Just so weird. <laughs> like I have no no shadow of a doubt that you are enrolling in this the weirdest, short course. Why didn't Instagram. you tell us? Why didn't you tell us that you were enrolling in that? You I should just, have I just wanted to surprise you not guys. Not even that. Why didn't you tell us before we hired you? Hey, guys, I know nothing about social media. Oh, just Cause Instagram posts. Here's the thing. You got a job here. Like, we really vouched for you. We were like, no. <laughs> they were like, let's get someone from the company. We were like, no, we want Todd here. We want a personal guy. <laughs> he knows his way around a tripod, and we weren't wrong. You have done some great tripod work. But as soon as you start uploading the videos and all the content that you make for us, it's great content, you don't even know how to do it. Like You're like, hey, man. <laughs> I had to teach you how to make an Instagram video. I don't think you knew that Instagram videos went for 60 seconds. It's been yeah. like that for years. <laughs> you know what I've also just realized, <laughs> Luke? Do you even have a personal Instagram? Yeah. You don't yeah. really post it much, though. No, no, no. Yeah. You no, know what I've realized, good. Luke? As great as at tripods that Tripod Todd is... The cameras in the studio are attached to the roof and do not need tripods. Yeah. So the main <laughs> skill that Todd has... You actually is... never use tripods on our show, yet your name is Tripod Todd. <laughs> Well, so well, I have, we a, to I have do a one test, test for you. Mm-hmm. This is okay. We might be wrong. You may be a social media whiz, and we just don't mm. know it. Okay. Mm. So, Todd, what I have here uh, on my phone is the Luke and Lewis Instagram account. Yep, yep. What I would like you to do right now, and guys, you can check if Todd does this correctly. If you mm-hmm. check us out on Instagram, Luke and Lewis, Pro Todd, fun. I would like you to start an Instagram live. Do you know how to do an that? An Instagram live. A right live now. stream. Go live, live on stream. Instagram. Everyone knows how to do it, He's man. gone to my photos. He's yeah. gone to the library. Now he's he almost he's clicked on a text from my girlfriend. He's now searching Lewis's camera <laughs> roll. He's okay. now He's opened up the camera. Uh, he's in the wrong area. I'll, I'll give you a hint. That is not where it is. Yeah, he's still on Instagram, He's though. gone That's back to our good. main profile. He hasn't gone to Twitter or Vero. That's pretty good. I give you three more seconds. Three, three two, two, one. one. You have failed. Sorry, guys, there's going to be no live stream because Todd doesn't know how they work. <laughs> and with that, I want to put the call out 131060. Are you bad at your job? <laughs>
<laughs> Surely there's other people out there right now who do not know what they're doing at work yet rock up every day and give it their best. <laughs> so give us a call on 131060. Are you as bad at your job as you can, Todd You is can be his? anonymous if you want. 131060, we're happy to keep you anonymous, but just tell us why you're bad at your job and maybe we could help you be better. We found out that our social media guy, Tripod Todd, knows his way around a tripod, but doesn't know how to start an Instagram live. Yeah, he's just, like, not good at social media. Last night, we were trying to do a poll to vote for our No Track album cover, mm. and he posted a post saying, vote live now on our, on our Instagram poll. And then half an hour later, I was like, hey, man, did you put up the poll? And he's like, nah, nah, I don't know how. I why, think he just hey, thought... Why did he look, tell people to do that's it That's the then? thing. I thought he just thought that if you say it in a post... A poll will disappear. <laughs> I don't know what he thought. Well, so he told us before that he, he enrolled himself in an Instagram course, <laughs> found it before, he was lying. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just trying to keep his job, man. Yeah. You're on probation. Uh, <laughs> but um, he's not the only one who's bad at his job. I was bad at my job. I mean, I yeah. used to work at a golf course. Yeah. And You don't know anything about golf. That. And, and you're definitely not rich. I mean, yeah, I was I was 15, like, yeah. and I worked there, and I never got fired. Like, the first, my second shift, I, ran, I caused $300 of damage. How? I ran over a golf cart battery with a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Great, man. <laughs> John, welcome to the show. Why are you bad at your job? All right. I guess his job is calling people on the radio. <laughs> Man, he sucks at that. If, if he works at a call centre, you're rubbish, John. <laughs> I used to work at a call centre. Did was... you used to do that? Just dead silence? <laughs> uh, uh, kind of. What I used to do is I worked for Coles Online, uh, and I worked out that if you they want us to use the phone on the screen to call people and that, yeah. but they had the actual hardware phone there. And if you use the screen, they could tell what you were clicking on. But if you just hung up on the actual hardware phone, they had no idea that you were hanging up on customers. I used to do that all I'm the time. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, <laughs> hey, John. Hey, John. How are you going, man? What's hey, your seven, job? Is it just seven talking? Seven-second delay, mate. This is how I treat my customers. I make them wait. They, right. Where do you work? They love me. They love me, yeah. Where do you I'm not work? stuck at my job. I'm, I'm so bad sometimes that I, I, I feel like sacking myself. You know what I mean? But what but, do you do, John? Well, I sell... Uh, sell furniture, wholesale furniture, yeah. and um, my day is around lunch, you know, where I'm going to go for lunch, yeah. fish, you know, Asian. Hey, John, man, awesome drink. story, bro. <laughs> such a good, such a good yarn, man. Thanks for calling. Wrenchin, welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome to the show. Why do you suck at your job? I'm a property developer and I'm yet to sell a house. <laughs> oh, no. How long have you been doing it for? Oh, probably around 18 months now. Oh. I have a lot of houses that I've built. I hey, haven't sold a single one. Do you work on commission? Oh, I wish I did, but yeah. No, you no, don't because you've much. sold no houses. <laughs> do you know what commission is? I would, have nothing, I would have no money in the bank. Yeah. yeah. Right, so hang on. So you <laughs> so you just own a bunch of houses that you've built and you, that you haven't yeah, sold? Yeah, I buy land and I build like unit developments on them. Right. And... Well, I mean, I'm trying to sell some, and now I can't, so... Are I you mean, just building ugly hard. houses? What's going what's on What's wrong man? with your houses? Well, I don't know what's wrong with my houses. They're pretty brilliant, in my opinion. I mean, I'm living in one at the moment. I'm trying to sell the one next door. Well, I know why you're living in it, mate. You can't sell it. <laughs> Maybe you're a bad neighbour and I don't want to live next to you. Thanks for calling, Richard. Um, yeah, I used to hang up on people all the time when I was in working call centres. Yeah, and... well, you did a great job on John then. Oh, yeah, I just got back into the habit of yeah. it. <laughs> We're talking about our No Track album. It's release day, Luke. We've uh, recorded a, an album that has zero tracks on it in response to Drake's album, which has 25 tracks. Too many tracks. It's way too many tracks. So, uh, yeah, our, our album has zero tracks on it and it's it's been released we have five physical copies ready to go they've they're gonna fly off the shelves well we're about to give some away yeah but i mean we don't have enough of the albums to fill more than one shelf yeah but they'll fly off the shelf that we've half filled just to catch yeah that's true just to catch uh people up on it uh the album cover um is a parody of queen uh, yep. a famous queen album cover i think the album was called queen 2 um and it was, uh, it's the iconic one of the four Queen members um, in Dark Shadowed, and it's got me at the front, Lewis at the back, uh, Rove McManus to the left, uh, because a listener suggested we put Rove McManus on the album cover, because yep. Rove sells, and yeah. we agree, and uh, we put Drake on the other side, because you always got to acknowledge uh, your The reason why we started. And yeah. I guess 
you know, it's almost... We're really trying to stick it to him. Like, some look people, what we can do, Drake. Yeah, some people actually were confused with that. They were like, why have you included Drake? Because this is trying to offset Drake. And like, no, 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 we're, we're essentially mocking him. Yeah, um, we're mocking him and also trying to lead as a bit of an inspiration. Because yeah. Go, hey, man, sometimes you're just going to release way less tracks. Try and, um, zero. He might put us on his next album cover. I hope it depends so. If, it depends how, if, you know, if he's immature or not. Depends how many tracks he puts on there. I wouldn't want to be on the cover of something with 25 tracks. Say if Drake <laughs> did drop an album with like minimal tracks next time, yeah. would you say we influenced that? I would say so. I'd say so. And then I'd say, oh, it's more of an EP, really. Yeah. Not enough tracks to be an album. What about if he dropped an album with no tracks? Sue. Sue, for sure. Definitely. Yeah, he'd lose all his money. Any money he makes out of that, probably nothing, we would take. Now, Lewis, we do want to give away a few copies of our No Track album. And yes. this is like the Wu-Tang Clan's album, all right? Yeah. They released one of one of their albums, one physical copy. There yep. is one, I forget what the album's called, but there is a physical copy of one of the Wu-Tang's albums that yep. only one person has ever heard. I think someone bought it for about $80,000 and then just kept it in his house as more of a trophy. So that's what this is like, except so we've only way made cheaper. five yeah. and no one has heard it. No. Oh, actually, that's not true. We had a listening party earlier today. Yeah, but um, no one heard it. There's no tracks. Yeah, we didn't invite anyone either. Yeah, it was yeah. very exclusive. No, no people, people invited. For the same amount of tracks on the album. Yeah, so if you want to hear our No Track album, give us a call on 131060. What would you do for a copy of the No Track album? We want someone who wants it. We don't just want any old fan of No Tracks. You need to prove to us that you, A, hate tracks. That's yeah. the whole point of this. Yeah. And B, that you want this album and prove to us why you're willing to. Are you willing to smash a Drake CD on the phone live? Yep. Uh, are you willing to, I don't know. You, whatever it is, you have to hate tracks. So if you're a train, don't even call. <laughs> Stop making Third train, train jo joke of the show. You're welcome, everyone. Give us a call on 131060. What would you do for a no track album? <laughs> It's been a long journey, Luke. It's been about two weeks from start to finish, and it's finally here. It's, it's release day. We've recorded a song, deleted it, because obviously there's no tracks on the album. We've tried mm. to get celebrity collabs. We've got an album cover, and finally we have five physical copies to give away. It's limited edition stuff. Yeah, it's well, the only way to get the album. Everyone makes albums that has tracks on them. We thought that was lame, so no tracks. And everyone releases albums on iTunes, and well, we that's, thought that's even lamer. Not even that. We tried, and they literally will take, won't take nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, Spotify won't take nothing because we, we kept on trying to submit our no the industry is trying to shut us out Luke I think if this goes well we might be able to use all the money we make how? from this album to start our own streaming service that yeah. has no tracks on it how discriminatory is that though that Ridiculous. like no you have to have tracks to get us to get it on iTunes it's like hey I've got an album I don't I don't need tracks there's so many well there's not there's only us there is trackless artists out there like mm. us who are not being given a go but anyway now is the only way to get the album so we asked people to call up as to why they want this no track album yeah what, and what will they do we got a lot more than album. five calls but there's yep. only five physical copies to give away so these people you have, have to have earn great it great reasons so Patrick welcome to the show what will you do to receive a no track album Album. Lewis, do you really want to know? <laughs> I don't know. Do I, mate? What would I do for your album? Yep. I would do absolutely nothing. Ooh. I like this. He wouldn't do anything because... No. Yeah, because he put in the same amount of effort that the... we did into the album. Mm, we took a photo. We put a little bit of effort in. Will you, do... Will you take a selfie for us? No. Nah. <laughs> All right, you can have an album. You can have it. I like it. You won't do anything for the No Track album. There you go, mate. You've won an album. Thank you. Will you at least give us your address so we know where to post it? Don't give oh, it to us. Stay on the line. Oh, why would I do that? All right. All right. Well, you know, it's there if you want it. <laughs> uh, Ashley. Hey, before we get to Ashley, <laughs> do we need to up the standard a bit? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like that, guy, that was pretty good. All right, but the next person has to do something. Okay, something. All right. Ashley, welcome to the show. What are you going to do Hi. for a No Track album? Um... I have no radio, well, no CD player in my car, so I can't even play it, but I still want it. Hey, you just said you have no radio. How did you hear this? <laughs> You're on the radio right yeah. now. I think Ashley's an inside agent trying to get a no track CD album player. to copy the idea. Wait, did you say you heard this on a CD player? No, I said I have no CD player. Uh, okay. No CD player. I have mm. a radio. This is the only place I listen to. Yeah, but you are Trying to get an album. We still have a CD. There's a CD in the album. It's just got no tracks on it. So yeah. Well, I can't play no track album on no CD player. Oh, well, then you won't enjoy the album, you actually. You won't be able to spin get it. our no tracks, Yeah, you, we want you to play the album. It just happens to have no tracks on there. I, what I'll, you... I'll keep the CD on display in the car, but I can't mm. play it. Mm. 
What do you think, Luke? Do, it we, do we really is want... a good album for display. Can yeah. we put Ashley on hold and go to Devlin and just hear him out first? Yeah, you're, you're on the maybes, Ashley. Devlin, what would you do for a no-track album? I'm willing to eat. Oh, I'll, I'll say a few a few of these jats I have right here, even though I am a true Savoy boy. Mm, do we really want to encourage now, you jats eating? For those who are new to the show, <sighs> our, awesome link to make. our radio show is very pro Savoy. It's our favourite Arnott's biscuit. We yes. are heavy anti jats rat. Yeah. Because uh, Victoria, Melbourne, we don't have jats. No. Um, and w- I would say, no, nah, get it. Hang up on him. He's a Jets yeah, The fact that you him. even have even a Jets near it. you is insane, and I would never consider that. Definitely. Sorry, Devlin, mate. Never call again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Braden, welcome to the show. What would you do for a No Track album? Um, well, I'm at home at the moment, and mm. all my family members are asleep. I will yell out at the top of my lungs, whatever you guys wish. Hmm. We, we, hey, Brayden, <laughs> how far away is your parents' bedroom right now? Just under my bedroom, downstairs. Uh, could you go downstairs for us, mate? Uh, okay. <laughs> no, just no reason, just go downstairs, just so we can chat to you a little bit more. Would you be able to yell, Mum, Dad, I hate tracks <laughs> at the top of your lungs, and you've got yourself tracks. a no-track album? I hate tracks. No, that's not a yell, that's mate. You need yell, to yell man. it. I- Come on, man. I want to hear Mom, you. Mom, Dad, I hate tracks. Mm, that wasn't uh... a yell. That wasn't a yell. That was a, Mom, Dad, I hate tracks. I'm, I'm going to need a yell here, Brayden. Right. You're only right. making it worse for yourself. Mom, Dad, I hate tracks. Ah, no, he bowed out of it. That was a loud we, mum. I don't think we can give it to him. I don't know if we can give it to This is your last <laughs> chance, man. Uh, sorry, guys. I have to go to bed. <laughs> um, anyway, I got into it. His mum came out. <laughs> Hey, thanks for Brandon calling, Brandon. can't Brady. come over to play anymore. Oh, uh, bummer. He's been grounded. Well, I guess uh, we're going to have to give it to Ashley. We only gave out one album, two albums. Yeah, but I only want to give them to people. There's only five. That's we're not true. giving away. For, we literally gave a guy an album for doing nothing. Yeah, that's we true. We need to set the standard a lot higher. All right. Well, congratulations, Ashley. You've got a no-track album. That's not what uh, I was going for, but hey, Ashley, you've got one now because we've promised it to you, but I just want to say you've got one under protest from me. No worries. Thanks thanks for calling, guys. The No Track album is out now. Get it where you can. Luke, we put a call out to listeners of the show to ask what kind of segments they would like us to return to, if they'd like us to do any old segments again. And I think the highest requested segment to return to was to just talk to Radio Mike's assistant. Yeah, well, but it's not a segment. We were so confused because this, like, we have lots of regular segments on the show, but us speaking to Radio Mike's our button pushers assistant Janice, that's just like we accidentally spoke to her one day when we we're trying to call Mike, and often yeah. Mike's such a busy guy, as we all know, so many hobbies now that he's picked up <laughs> escape rooming and uh, yeah. more jigsaw puzzles. Um, but uh, often we just get put onto his assistant Janice, who is an old Italian woman. And do you still employ Janice, Mike? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm so busy. That that I, I employ her full-time because do, I need someone. Oh, she's full-time. But do so, you work full-time? No, no, but I'm busy outside of right. work doing lots of errands and stuff. So right, I just so, need but, but how, if you're earning a part-time wage and you're paying her a full-time wage, either you're paying her, like, hardly anything and it's illegal mm. or you've got, like, crime money stashed no, away got somewhere. I've side hustles that, like, that's how I pay her. I, not, all, not all my income well, comes out of I this I think show. Radio Mike's a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, Mike, yeah. I know it's late at night, but obviously lots of people want to hear from Janice again. Do you oh, okay. think she'd be available to take our call this um, late at night? I mean, she's a full-time around the clock. Honestly, the way she speaks about you guys, she'd be more than happy. She loves hearing from you. Oh, really? That's so yeah. great, because we love hearing from her. Okay, cool. So, all right, well, can you put in her number now? I'm yeah, you I mean, if it. you guys are going to call her, like, I talk to her all the time, so I'll just duck out and do some other You don't have to. Are you sure? No, you no, can I'm, just stay. No, 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 I'll duck out. You guys, you guys need to what catch up. What are you going to do? I thought, I thought Janice... Heaps of work to catch up. Well, on. isn't that why you have well, Janice? Well, man, that's why nah. he's swamped though. Because yeah. again, he's got some. Oh, while Janice is on, not on the clock talking to us, my, someone's got to attend to all those errands. So. That's true. Yeah. So, Look, I'll... if you have to duck out, I'm happy for you. But yeah, yeah no, put no, the no. number in. You guys in, catch up. I'll dial it now. Great. All right, uh, thanks, man. Mike's leaving. He does this every time See we call you know, Janice. Please. See you later, man. It's so weird. It is strange. And he just runs out. He, huh? Looks like he's got a pretty important call himself. Actually. Yeah. Oh, come on, Janice. Oh, oh, hey, Janice. How are you going? Oh, Ben, look at me. It's coming by. How are you? <laughs> yes, Janice, well. can I just ask you a question? What does Mikiamo Janice mean? 
I'm my name is Janice in Italiano. I come from a small city outside of Roma. Uh, that's why I sometimes speak Italian. I come to Australia when I was 42. Right. When I'm, when I, not uh, when I was 42, when I was 21. Right. And I married my husband. Yeah. Um, yes. Can I just, uh, just want to ask you a question. But why would you answer the phone with my name Janice? That seems a very strange thing. Oh, to it's do because I know no, I know no English well, so I She's just study Italiano. I think, oh, okay. Stop me being so. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't mean to offend you, Janice. Janice. I, know that, no, I know that you've no. been here for 20 years, but you and you still answer the phone with my name, Janice. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, me need to good. learn. Me, me not me not have education she, because she, very poor family. Yeah. Very she poor. Come, Janice comes in and out of good and broken English, very in a very weird pace. Hey, isn't she? Janice, what have you been up to? Since we last chatted, is your sister do, still doing voiceover work for La Paqueta? See, Maria still do voiceover La Paqueta, make a lot of money, yeah. very high pay work a voiceover. <laughs> Not so much to be assistant to radio superstar Radio Mike, but I love my job. <laughs> Right. Do you think Radio Mike's a, a radio superstar? Do you listen to much radio? See, si, I listen to the Italia station on the Italia radio. Just a lot of, I love to hear the Italia voice. It reminds me of home. You, my husband actually wrote the song. Oh, right. Uh, his name is Geppetto. He also, he's the one who makes the puppets Pinocchio. <laughs> right. So <laughs> he's a very talented the, man. The cartoon character. You see, no, he's a real man who makes a puppet, uh, Pinocchio. <laughs> Oh, just a coincidence then that Disney also made a massive film about that about 50 oh, years ago. Oh, I know I not see this movie. I've not seen <laughs> right. before. It probably didn't come out in Italy. No, hey, no, no. Janice, before you go, just quickly, what's your favourite thing about working for Mike? He, he's a very friendly man who treats me, pay me a lot of money. Pay a lot, me of, a money. lot of money. Where is he getting he, that money from? Uh, he has a lot of side hustles. A lot of side hustles. <laughs> Like what? I I prefer not to say. I, I, it's confidential. I think, it's... I think that Mike might be in the mafia with Janice. <laughs> I think that's what's really going on. Uh, my, I have no comment. I think, no I comment. think Geppardo is is not the husband. Geppardo is the like, godfather. Yeah. <laughs> Well, We're on to I you, Janice. I have to go now. That I have to go now. Hey. So, oh, okay. It's Bye. great to chat, Janice. All right. She's okay. Gone. Ciao. Okay. She's... Ciao, Janice. It's like she only knows how to say three things in Italian. Well, it was great to catch up with yeah. Janice. Yeah. Um, for someone who's not very good at English, she's, she's also not very good at Italian. Hang on, Mike's just been locked outside. I don't know why he wants to come back. back why in. was he? Why was he outside? Huh? Mike, yeah. did you get locked outside there? Yeah, I just went outside and got locked out. Oh, you just missed Janice, man. We we're on the How phone to her. Oh, we think she's a part of the mafia. No, I don't think that. Are That's you in weird. the mafia with Janice, man? Nah, no way. What the hell? Who told you that? Ja- well, well, we Janice kind of, kind of so alluded she got really to it. nervous when we brought it up, and I think Geppetto, her husband, could be the godfather. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, she's never seen Pinocchio. That's pretty weird for an old Italian woman. Yeah, no, I don't I think... want a stereotype, but that's a popular film mm. in many cultures. No, I think she, her husband Geppetto makes puppets for a living, but yeah. I don't think it's this. I don't think it's based. You know what else her. I found weird for for a woman from Italy who's not very good at English. Yeah. she's also not very good at Italian. Have you noticed that? <laughs> I, I, I don't speak Italian, so I just, you know, oh, you I, just know. I just speak oh, to cool. her in English, and I find Mate, it really we know easy. you don't speak Italian. <laughs> Luke, uh, I've got some very important news that we need to share with the world, and uh, you uh, will definitely be on board with. Okay, great, because I have no idea what you're about to say, mm, I think but I'm excited. I think you'll be able to guess it. What I've got is I have a few sound effects, and I want you to just guess. It's a momentous... Uh, your clue is it's a momentous occasion <laughs> in world history. <laughs> great. You should be across it. You and should we, be excited about it. Is this it. a scoop? Like, are we the first people announcing this? I would say that this would probably be one of the first ever radio shows to ever do a story on this, but it's massive news. Wow. So, we've got a bit of an exclusive here. Are you, are you ready? Yeah. It's a global event. All right, your first clue is this. <laughs> is that a baby or a cat? That was, that was a bad cat meow. Okay. Couldn't you have done it's better than that, cat. Mike? Oh, that, I mean, no. no. <laughs> With the time permitted, not really. All right. This is a breaking news story. It's an emergency. Okay, so it involves a cat. Time. Okay. As your second clue. <laughs> is Mike marrying a cat? <laughs> No, <laughs> close. Are you marrying a cat? No, no. Am I? No, I hope no, not. no. No one's marrying a cat. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Um, your final clue, Luke. Is, it... is Batman marrying a cat? It's close. <laughs> Should we play the, the backup oh, sound effect that we have? Wait, Mike? is there a thing called Catman? <laughs> I'm sorry? Is that Batman? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah that was Batman, Batman <laughs> and that was a cat. Yeah. And so what do you th- and so do you think Batman's gone gay and married someone called Catman? No. No. I just think, think about the think about cat related characters in Batman. Is it cat, really Catman? There was a oh, movie. Oh, uh, the cat lady. Uh, what's her <laughs> face? Anne, Anne Hathaway plays her in the new one. Mate, I don't, you know, I don't Use care about this Use any other word stuff. for a female. Uh, cat. Uh, girl? Is that a name? <laughs> Try the opposite of man. Woman. Ah, cat woman. <laughs> <laughs> so is that, that's a superhero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Nah, now all we, over that. I'm, you, I'm, I'm glad not, you did the three clues thing. And I'm <laughs> so disappointed in you, man. This cat is bad woman. In, cat woman, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you want to take a guess at, guess at the news story now? She's getting married to Batman. <laughs> yeah. And it's massive news. But I, but I can't even be excited about it because I'm so disappointed that you had no idea who Cat Woman... Cat Lady. Do you <laughs> reckon they, that'd be a have, good comic character? Have they... Yeah, they've gotten married. No, Issue but, 50, man. No, but aren't they always... Like, have, have they been on and off Yeah, they've been on and issues? off, but they've, engaged, they've been engaged for about 12 issues, but Batman's finally locked her down. Issue 50 of Batman, it's they're finally married. It's a world event. So does that mean she's part of the Wayne family now? Yep. Right. Who who's gonna walk him down the altar? Alfred. Yeah, I that'd think be Alfred. a great wedding. Yeah, and hopefully they know that her name's Catwoman, not yeah. Cat Lady. <laughs> Cat, you know, I don't know why you thought I cared. <laughs> I mean, I don't think many people listening care. But you're lucky you've done this one late at night because yeah. Jesus, this That's is true. not. Not our best. <laughs> well, hey, thirteen ten sixty. If you care about the no. Batman Catwoman wedding, give us a call. I'd love to chat to you about no, it. No, we don't. I don't want to chat to you. Too, Too bad. We're doing oh. it. It's Luke Lewis on the Fox. Luke, it's time to check in with our friend Jeff and find out what he's done now. Yes. Uh, Jeff, uh, also known as Jeff Abel, has uh, been a friend of mine and yours for a couple of years now, and uh, he's always doing just dangerous things. Yeah, the last time we had him on the show, he got a, uh, Bitco- a Bitcoin QR code tattooed on, tattooed on his arm because he wanted people to transfer money via QR code from his shoulder. It didn't work. Um, it was no. from his bicep. It's like a, it's like a barcode. What unfortunately, uh, before they tattooed, yeah. the, the scan worked, but then after yeah. they tattooed, didn't work. And then also, he's uh, eaten a cactus uh, near the big cactus in Perth, and uh, now he's outdone himself. The World yes. Cup is on. People may have seen this video going viral. Um, what he's done... Okay, this is what he's done. This was uh, a couple of clips from his recent YouTube video. I'm going to be predicting the winner of the World Cup today. I have a method. It is a difficult method, but an effective method. It has never failed me in the past, although I have not tried it yet. I'm going to pick an amount out of the bucket, and oh my god, it's $3,000. I'm going to be attempting to throw it into one of these cups. Croatia. So he's basically just come up with what he says is a flawless method to predict the winner of the World Cup in soccer. And so far, he's actually pretty spot on. It's crazy. So Russia, uh, so yeah, Croatia beat Russia mm-hmm. uh, in the in the first game, which was unheard of. Then they beat England, which was crazy. And now Croatia... Everyone thought that England was going to win the whole thing. So yeah. Croatia, no one was worried about it all. But no. <laughs> Croatia's won. And now Croatia's in the final... Jeff could actually win $22,000 using this ridiculous method. And Jeff, he joins us now. Welcome to the show. Are you pumped? How you doing, boys? I've Very well. It. I've bloody well done it. You, uh, I you, can't believe it. You haven't done <laughs> it just yet, man. I mean, you're pretty close, but if... Oh, man. So, nah, it's, it's happened. It's in the bag, man. I've already been to the future and I've predicted it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> actually, it's actually just going to happen, I think, man. Yeah, I did, uh, I did see you in the video driving around telling people you were from the future and telling everyone <laughs> to bet on Croatia. Are you still riding with that? I don't, I don't know why people don't believe me, man. That's something I keep telling these people, you know, you eat the cactus and it sends you back in time. <laughs> I thought you were from the future, man. Well, you can go back in time, forward in time. He's a time oh, traveler. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, man. I'm, I've always, I always get confused by time traveling theories so I'm, I'm glad you got a handle of it man you're obviously working on a higher plane of intelligence than me well I've, yeah I placed the bet I got the tattoo on my shoulder the internet's gone a little bit crazy about it at the moment but you haven't rigged it at all so when you pulled the ping pong ball that said $3,000 bet and then you threw it into the uh, plastic cup that said Croatia there was no there was a, I, I mean I guess no, you couldn't have predicted no. it because well, if you were be, trying to predict it, you probably honestly, would have picked England. Yeah, honestly, if I was trying to predict something, I would have, I would have picked something like, ah, uh, 
like France. Yeah, yeah, because Croatia is is seven dollars fifty. So you put three grand on. If you win, you'll win twenty two thousand dollars. I mean, guys, yeah, I'm not saying that you should bet. I, I don't. We don't know that Jeff is a time traveler. Well, but... you should have bet two weeks ago. It's too late now, anyway, because <laughs> it was now that you've probably made the odds go up for Croatia because no one else would have put three grand on them. Yeah, hey, I've got. <laughs> I've got something else coming up pretty soon as well. It's um, super crazy. Yeah. Uh, I haven't even really told anyone about it yet. It just sort of got confirmed today. Um, in August, I'm actually going to Germany. I'm going on national TV to eat a cactus in front of like 4 million <laughs> viewers estimated or something. Maybe, maybe you could get your plane tickets on your forehead just so you don't lose them. <laughs> 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 Um, Jeff, yeah. Jeff, say every it. time you come on our show, you swear. I'm every so single sorry. time, you just I'm... swear. And it happened <laughs> like five times in I a row, man. It. It's beyond an accident. Help it. That's great. Always a pleasure talking to you, Jeff. Thank you very much for joining us. Check Jeff Abel and friends out on Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, all of that. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, it's bringing us to the end of the show, Luke. And before we go, we've got some amazing news for our button pusher, Radio Mike. Turn your mic on. You have done such How a... How did you speak into Sorry. your own microphone? I just realized... Sorry, I Luke. Before you were about you to have compliment one job. Him, I, I was about to do something really nice for you, and now do you retract it and end the show? <laughs> he tried to talk into his own microphone without turning on. That's and I like didn't turn suit. Luke's on either. Luke's yeah, I just realized right. my mic wasn't on that whole right. time. I just right, turned yours on, Luke. Sorry, hey, everyone. Gift is cancelled. Luke, engage the, <laughs> the awful thing. No, well, you know what? This, this might play in your favor, Mike, because would you agree that... Um, your real passion is singing. <laughs> I'll take I that did, as a yes. I did have a 50% choir scholarship at school. Yes. Uh, mm. So I wouldn't say... At university or... Just high school. Oh, high school. <laughs> I wouldn't say How it's many my years passion. Ago? Uh, that was, it was probably six years. Wow, time flies. Mm, um, still talking about it. <laughs> I, it's not my passion. It's my skill. <laughs> right. right, but well, you're pretty passionate That'll about work. telling people about That'll it. Work. No, it's, you know, you've got to. When well, you get a scholarship, you've got to tell a people. A 50% scholarship. Mike, yeah. I'm so thrilled to announce this to you, but um, well, I've been working on this behind the scenes for about two weeks now. Uh, something came up in my newsfeed the other day from a local theatre production, right? Big opportunity. Oh, no. uh, it was a casting call, right? Have you ever done any acting? <laughs> I was in the year five musical at my right. school. I played right. a, a, a robber. I had two yeah. songs, two solo songs. Right. Well, yeah. He's been. He's acted and he's sung in a I'm, musical. I'm a triple threat. Mm. Singing, dancing, acting. Oh. I can do them all. Yes, this is good. what I knew. <laughs> okay. Good. A casting call came across my news feed from a theatre production in South Melbourne. Okay. This is real. Now, I, I wouldn't just... I would not never want to put you in a situation that I don't think you fit. Good, man. This is the character that they're casting. The name of the character is Michael, a male 18 to 25 years old, okay? That is uh, literally you. And the description of the character is a former actor who gave up his passion to become a market research executive. Now, that's not exactly you, but you gave up your passion of singing to become to, a to button push pusher. Buttons. I mean, I, didn't, I never voluntarily gave it up. I finished school. My scholarship right. ran out. I stopped singing. Okay. I, still, I still play guitar. I still muck around a bit. <laughs> yeah. But that's just my, my personal time. Yeah, yeah. dabble. Um, this character is career-minded and image-conscious. That's yep, very that's you. you. Image-conscious, yes. Uh, an artist at heart, Michael is caring and supportive of his friend's struggling career. And that's us. <laughs> <laughs> who, who wrote this? This is a legitimately casting call. It's a play called Tick, Tick, Boom. Um, so Catchy immediately, uh, as I would say, would you call us, or when we've kind of self-appointed ourselves as management. Uh, so you, need, you have to call us that. You get no option. We contacted them. Uh, I sent them an email saying, Hi, my name is Luke. My associate, Lewis, and I manage a talented young actor, writer, dancer, Triple influencer, Ooh, and singer threat. by the Ooh, name of Michael. Sec- Septuple threat. <laughs> so much threat. Either way, it's threatening stuff. AKA Radio Mike. We are very interested in Mike auditioning for your upcoming production of Tick Tick Boom. Mike has recently gained minor fame on the Luke and Lewis radio show, <laughs> very which minor. he heavily denies, yet regularly uses to get girls on Tinder. No, <laughs> I've never done that. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm in your Tinder. Anyway, uh, we've seen your Tinder, mate. It's, Michael, it's full of it. Michael would be perfect to play the uh, to play Michael, the 18 to 25 year old who is career minded and image conscious. Although our Michael doesn't have much acting experience, he has been training for this role his entire life. Mm. He is in the age range of 18 to 25, career-minded, and once went on a three-week head diet, so very image-conscious. 
<laughs> Mike's past works have included a performance of Katy Perry's Teenage Dream in the St. Kevin's Glee Club, which gained him a half singing scholarship at school, which you mentioned earlier. I didn't get the scholarship from that. That was part of my duties oh, as a scholarship right. bearer. Yeah. Right. right. What did you get the scholarship for? For singing, but I didn't. I didn't get. Oh, so the you've auditioned before for things. Yeah, I auditioned to get the singing scholarship, and you got half of it. No, they were it, the maximum you could get was half. Right. Yeah. I have included the video in the email. I said, "See video no, included." No, you did not. Please <laughs> note, Mike is seen missing a twirl. <laughs> Don't worry, I've clarified your mistake, man. Please note, Mike is seen missing a twirl in the second chorus. This may look like an error. However, we can ensure it was a creative choice, and you've said that to us as well. Yeah, um, you chose not to twirl. To and stand then out from the group, they said to put a time preference of the audition. It's next Saturday, by the way, so get ready. Uh, in regards to time preference for the audition. Mike is very flexible as he doesn't have many hobbies. We are looking forward to hearing back from you. Yours sincerely, Luke and Lewis. And guys, if you want to see... And you're probably thinking, you didn't send that. There's no way this is a real theatre company. I'm very, very excited to announce that we got a reply, Lewis. (laughs) Ooh, what did they say? (laughs) Thank you, Luke and Lewis, for the application. Please pass on the following to Michael. And then a bit of information. It's next uh, Saturday. Your, oh, your you audition, audition number is 4055. <laughs> so it's official. You're on the books. And um, you have four songs to learn by next Saturday. <laughs> Original songs? Uh, or... Yeah. I'll, nah, uh, yeah. No, not originals. I'll cover you. It's uh, in the thing, Rent, uh, a song from Jesus Christ Superstar, Heaven on Their Minds. You know that one? No. Um, a song by R.E.M. and a song oh. by Godspell. So uh, you're going to have to learn them, mate, uh, by next Saturday. How do you feel? I regret ever showing you guys the Glee video. I don't know why I did it. What did I possibly have to gain from <laughs> I, And I, guys, if you want to see that Glee video, we'll chuck it up on the Luke and Lewis Facebook no, page. No, that's not a Yes, we will. Okay, we're Todd, going to a Todd, song. Todd, social media guy, can you get on that? He's giving me a thumbs up. Uh, he doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> Luke and Lewis on 101.9 The Fox.